Now, here comes the problem. Okay? Kelsey? So here's our problem. Domain and range for a table is fairly simple, right? You just list the x values, list the y values, okay? But now when we have a graph, remember these arrows, that says this graph goes to infinity. It never stops, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So when we're listing the x values, remember these are coordinate points, right? So if you were like to graph these, these represent coordinate points on a graph. These, this table does not represent this graph, though. However, what I want to do is just tell you what are a couple points that make up this graph that I could write in a table. Well, if I was going to create a table here, I could say, what are some x and y points? x here is negative 2. At negative 2, what's the y value? 1, 2, 3. Right? What about when x equals 0? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do you agree with me? And we could keep on doing that for on and on. Like, so what I want you to understand, that's two points. But when you're dealing with a graph, not a table, how many points make up a graph? Infinite many. So you can see that this table, we could never complete it, right? So what, and rather than trying to write down everything that is in the domain and range, like we do with a table, because the table's finite. The graph is not finite, right? It's infinite. So we can't list everything, every point that's a part of the domain and the range. But what we can do is look at what is not in the domain and in the range. So what is an x value that is not in this domain? That is not a part of, that is not an x value of that graph. What would be an x value? Is there an x value for 1? Yeah, it's up there. Is there an x value for negative? Well, well 1,000? It's going to keep on going forever. So will eventually we have a point for 1,000? Yeah, but this graph is going to continue. That, this arrow represents it's going to go on forever. So do you think 1,000, that graph will eventually be at 1,000? Yes. But what about this? What about negative 1, 2, 3, 4? Is there a point for negative 4? Where? x equals negative 4. Is there an x value? This coordinate point is negative 2, 3. Do you agree with me? Is there a coordinate point that has negative 4, comma, y? What's that y value? There's no coordinate point, right? It only, the farthest this graph goes to the left is negative 2. It doesn't go any farther. So what I'm saying is the restriction on the domain, the restriction on this domain is the domain contains infinite many points from negative 2 to infinity, because it goes to infinity. Now let's look at the range. The range is going to be set of all y values, right? Now, we know there's a y value at 6. We know there's a y value at 3. As this graph goes to the right, it's also going up, right? So there's always going to be larger and larger y values. But how low of a y value do we have? Is there a y value that's at, um, or I'm sorry, is, is there a y value when we have y equals 0? No, it doesn't go down that low, does it? What's the lowest this graph goes? 3. And then how high is it going to go? How high does this graph go? There you go. See if you can do those two on your own.